Hey guys, this is the second tutorial of the mini series. With a bit more work, we're gonna add more realism with changes in size and volume. Again I'm gonna use the same mesh than before, see link in description to download it for free. I gave it a very simple rig. The weight maps are like that. And I also made a simple animation for the testing. I assigned some options to my quick favorites menu. Like the X mirror, show in front, display wire, display names or axes. It really saves time in my rigging process. I'm starting by adjusting the bones in edit mode. Try to mimic this positioning. Then I create a plane. And in edit mode, I move the vertices at the bone's extremities. With snapping options set to vertex, I press control while moving the vertices, and the snapping is fast and safe. To work on the plane, it's better to not have the armature in front. I draw an edge in the middle of the plane, then erase these points. Then extrude the two edges left on the z-axis. We need to adjust the geometry. And to erase the fourth vertex. Again, try to mimic what I show here. The top edges don't have to be aligned with the breast bones. The vertical edge will guide the size variation of the breast, so try to have it not too short not too long for now. Now, add an empty. Scale it down. And snap it there. Press F2 to rename this empty with something like target.l. Then Shift D to duplicate this empty and to make it the right target. Select the plane object and go in edit mode to select this vertex. Go back in object mode and select first the left empty, then Shift select the plane and press Ctrl P to parent the empty to the vertex. Off course do the same for the right side. In edit mode, add a vertex group for the plane object, and assigned a value of 1 for the starting vertices, and a value of 0.45 for the middle ones. Go back in object mode. Unhide and select the armature. In edit mode, select the chest bone and go back to object mode. Select first the plane object, then shift select the armature and press Ctrl P to parent the plane to the bone. Check these parenting operations with the test animation. So far so good. Select the plane object again and enable cloth. Enter the vertex group as pin group. And make the duration of the animation correspond to yours. Then copy these values for now. When done, you can bake the animation and play it to verify you have dynamics applying to your rig. Select the armature again and go in edit mode. In viewport display select B bone. Press A to select all the bones. And press Ctrl Alt S to scale their radius. Select the left breast bone and press Alt F to flip its direction. Then subdivide it a couple of time. Select each of the new bones and press Alt P to disconnect them. Then Alt F for each of these new bones to flip them back in the original direction. That way we rapidly have the deforming bone where we want it. Press F2 to rename these bones. The first ones will handle the rotation, so I call them rot. Then I parent them to the chest bone with keep offset. The second ones will drive the scale and rotation of the others, so I call them driver. And again I parent them to the chest one. Then I parent the deforming bones to the rotation ones. Then I adjust the size and location of these bones. 
The deforming ones should start at the base of each breast. Changing their size won't affect the simulation. Back in object mode, I select the left empty and press F2 to select and Ctrl C to copy its name. Then I select the armature and go in pose mode. I select first the driver right bone and shift select the driver left bone and shift plus Ctrl C to assign a stretch to constraint. Then I edit the constraint. I delete the armature field and Ctrl V to paste the name of the empty in the target field. I change the volume variation to the value of 1.5. Here I got a value of 100 it's an error I will correct later. Reset the rest length of the stretch to. And select the right driver bone, then shift select the left one to apply a copy the constraints. Edit the stretch to constraint of the right bone like you did for the left one. Select first the driver bone and shift select the rotation one then shift plus ctrl c to apply a copy rotation constraint. Choose the local space. Select only the rotation bone and assign a limit rotation constraint. Again, choose local space. Then select the driver bone and shift select the deforming one to apply a copy scale constraint. Local space again. Now assign a limit scale constraint to this deforming bone in local space again. We will edit all the values later and copy all these constraints to the right side with the options seen earlier. What about a small test? The 100 value error explode in my face. I check all the bones and correct the issue. Then I enter values in the limit scale constraint of the deforming bones. I have tested these values before, I know they work quite well. I run another test. That's much better. But still, I have to optimize things. Let's add nice values to the limit rotation constraint. I encourage you to try other values to find what suits you the most. You can also change the weights in the vertex group or adjust the bone's location and orientation. Driver, rotation and deformation bones don't have to be aligned for example. Here I found the physics were too jiggly. So, I delete the bake and crank up the air viscosity value a little bit to have the motions calming down faster. Then I bake the simulation again to be sure to have the animation playing in real time. I hope this tutorial helped you. Don't forget to like and subscribe if it did. Have a great day guys.